Hey everybody, David R. Becker here with Becker Art. I'm here today to tell you a little bit of a secret on how to keep your watercolor paper, your thin watercolor paper, from wrinkling when you're doing big wet washes. So normally I use 300 pound and 300 pound you don't need to wet anything or soak it. Many times when I was in school I was always taught when I'm using my 140 and 90 pound paper to soak it into a tub and then staple it down to a board and then you let it restretch by when it's drying and so it gets nice and taut. Well, you really don't have to do that. I found a way to eliminate these wrinkles like see here we have a wrinkle into the paper this paper was 90, 140 pound and see how you always get those little valleys and then you're doing a big wet wash you just get a bunch of valleys and wrinkles in the paper and it's so hard to keep then your washes clean and just have them without puddling in a little area so how do you how do you eliminate that you take your paper and you get yourself one of these misting sprayers or you can just get a sponge really um, and whatever I like these because it's just very simple to take the back of your paper and mist the back of your paper just the back and you don't you can just take it before you do the drawing and just take this and actually before you tape it down and don't have to wet the board or anything just take one of these boards that you find you can find at Menards it's also the things they make the political signs out of corrugated plastic and so they make those political signs about it but you can get them at Menards without any or Home Depot without any print on there just basically white you take and you spray the back and you just lay it down and it almost like glues onto the onto the board and then you could take your tape and tape it on there if you like you can do that just take regular tape and make sure that your board is dry and then you just tape it down now that is one way of doing it i had done that and it doesn't it may wrinkle a little bit because again when you wet the front then it'll stretch a little bit so the corners may wrinkle just slightly or we give you a little bit nothing like it would though if you don't wet it and then or or just keep it like this just do your washes and i can just spray the front let's say i'm doing a big wet wash on the front now i can just do my wash and it will not not wrinkle and then even a 90 pound or 140 it will not wrinkle on you and you will not get those little puddles on the paper which you get like see you get that and you get all these little things where it lays in there and it won't buckle you know this buckle you can see from the side it buckles and um, see from the side it buckles and stuff like that but it's it's thinner paper so it's getting wet and it's expanding when you have it on tape on it that's kind of I like to not use tape then if you do put it down but you can again I've had a class last week where they taped it down after you wet it and it works fine it works really nice and flat so that's one way of keeping your paper nice and flat when you're buying 140 and 90 pound paper. Um, you can't find much 90 pound paper out there anymore, um, but there are some companies that still make 90 pound watercolor paper. And if you want to keep it flat, this is a great way of doing it. Just wet the back, slap it down and start painting. All right. And so that's my tip for this week. Get uh, more tips like this on my YouTube channel at Becker Art. Becker Art is my YouTube channel and subscribe, please subscribe so that I can Give you a bunch of more of these tips as they come along and i also do a newsletter every thursday every no a newsletter every tuesday i do a newsletter and you can get that on my website at beckerart.net or my name davidrbecker.com and also if you want on thursday nights follow my paint alongs where i do a paint along every thursday night where you can follow along or watch and then paint along and then put on my youtube channel which is my youtube group which is becker art group all right so everything's becker art and have fun um, use this tip if you're buying some thinner watercolor paper. All right, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.